Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Life by the Bow. If you guys are new, I'm Clay. This is my wife, Stephanie, beside me. And today we got something special for you today. We're gonna go out in the bay boat. We're gonna be fishing the world's third largest barrier reef, which is down here in the Florida Keys. We're hooking up on billfish. We're catching kingfish. We're cleaning them up. We're taking them back to the house. We're gonna make a smoked fish dip without a smoker, which is really interesting. So you guys wanna stay tuned till the very end because we finish off the video at one of our favorite spots down here in the Florida Keys. Promise you guys won't be disappointed. So we just made it to the bait spot here and basically where we're at is out on a little patch reef, say about three miles offshore. Live bait's really important in the Keys just because fish are smart nowadays and you're typically not gonna catch them unless you have something lively. But it's real simple. You know, you just get up current from one of these patch reefs, put out a block of chum and that's really it. Or if you run out of chum and you're feeling a little sick, this is the perfect time to let it all out. <laughs> Hopefully you never get there No. and you have enough chum, but yes, in essence, that's the key. You want to keep the chum flowing, create a slick, and then eventually that'll bring all these bait fish up to the boat. It takes time, but I'm not even worried about it because the water around us where we're at, it's so clear right now. That's what I love about bait fishing for ballyhoos. You always get on top of these really beautiful reefs. And what's really cool is the Florida Keys is the third largest barrier reef in the world. But we're finally at to the point where these baits are thick enough to start pulling this net and that's the key is getting them really thick. Because you want to make sure that when you start pulling they kind of intersect into each other and they kind of have no place to go so that way you can trap them real nice and easy. Oh yeah. Here we go baby. Time to go catch some fish. Oh! Oh! What Sail. is that? Let him, let him eat, let him eat, let him eat. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, just wait. He's got it, real. Let's go! Okay, forward, to the left! You know, typically when you think of sail fishing, it's in the winter, but here we are in spring. And actually, sail fishing can be really good this time of year, too, so. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Nice. Keep reeling, keep reeling. They're right, seaweed. It's okay. We're going to get right on top of them. There he is. Come on, baby. Jump. Oh, Run. come on. Look at, there's another sailfish right next to him. Another one right there. Right there. Another one swimming right here. Oh, he's about, no! Popped off. Popped off? That was awesome. That was awesome. That sailfish wasn't meant to be. He chafed this line pretty good. Yep, so. that's 100% that's fishing right yep. there. Like you said, it was just, it wasn't meant to be. You no. know, if it was meant to be, we would have had that fish boat side. But hey, you got to look at the positives whenever you're fighting a sport fish like that. The fact that you catch a fish like that is just to see him jump. And we yeah. did that. And we got it on film too, which is sweet. So let's yeah. keep trying, see what we can do. <laughs> that was ridiculously fast. 
I literally just dropped this bait and it got eaten. What we got, baby? Well, I can tell you what it is for sure. Nah, it looks like a little king. See, I can't reel into the rod tip because that weight's all. Yeah, it's a little king. Check that out. We, uh, it's kind of small to gaff. Yoo-hoo! Kingfish oh, baby in the boat. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. We're having some kingfish dip tonight. So let me show you guys something real quick. You see where that fish is hooked right there? If he was not hooked in that particular place right there, there is no way we would have caught him. They're notorious for break-offs. But that's why it's so important to use a circle hook because that circle hook's gonna set exactly where you want it to set. So here it is, that's the catch of the day right there. Not the best fishing in the world, but hey, we got something to bring home and make a plate out of. That's all I care about. And we got to make a sailfish jump. So that was just a bonus, but I'm chilling. I'm perfectly happy with this kingfish, but I don't think we're gonna do a regular cooking segment like how we typically always do because tomorrow we're actually going out on the boat so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys how to make a kingfish dip, a smoked kingfish dip without smoking it. So it's really interesting. You guys may have seen it in one of our other videos before, but we're actually gonna head back out on the boat and um, we're gonna take you guys with us again and we're gonna enjoy the fish dip out on the water. That's what it's all about, man. Life by the bow, just getting out there on the water and just enjoying this, enjoying the fish, enjoying the lifestyle, enjoying being out on the boat. And that's it right there. That is what a kingfish looks like filet. It's not the prettiest meat in the world, but I can promise you, once we put it into the dip, it is some of the best tasting fish. And it's even good without the dip. But next time you see him, he will be upstairs in the kitchen getting ready to turn in to a smoked kingfish dip. So yesterday, what a thrill. If you guys can hear it in my scream, I was so pumped. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> to catch that sailfish, or didn't catch, hook that sailfish. But then, we lost it, unfortunately, but people pay tons of money just to do that, so we are so grateful that we even were on a sailfish. That's true, and feeding off of your enthusiasm, the moment you stop getting excited about fishing, what's exciting about it? So the fact that you're screaming and everything like that, that's what it's all about. That's what fishing is supposed to be like. It's supposed to be fun and exciting. It is, and then, we threw some lines out and Clay hooked up on this kingfish. That's so, right. So we're eating, baby. We are going to eat. And I'm going to show you exactly how we are going to make this fish dip. So last time, if you guys check out our old video. It's in the description it's below. It's in the description. We have a kingfish recipe. But today, since we're going on the boat, I'm going to make it quick, short, and simple. So as some of you know, we don't have a smoker. Those that are new, I'm gonna show you how to smoke some fish without a smoker with using an oven. So what you're gonna do is you are simply going to burn the house down to get that smoke flavor. Just kidding. <laughs> you are actually going to use a liquid smoke sauce that is really going to add that smoky flavor to it. And it really does taste like it's smoked. It does. So besides that, you are going to Add some salt, some pepper, and some brown sugar. You're gonna mix it in a bowl, spread it evenly on the fish, stick it in the oven, cook it for 20 minutes at 350 degrees, and you're gonna crank that temperature up to 400 degrees, cook it for another 10, and lastly, you're gonna broil it for two minutes, 
pull it out of the oven, and then you got your smoked fish without having to smoke it all day, because we want to get out there. So the fish dip is done. So all we added was some sour cream and some mayonnaise, and here we have our fish dip. Hi, my name is Riley. I'm Cuban American. My American side is when I go out to go hog hunting. And my Cuban side is when I get like, super excited and I see my mom and dad and I shake in my booty. <laughs> so we finally made it back out on the boat today and I gotta tell you, it feels amazing. Nice and warm, perfect day to go to the sandbar, hop in the water and the best part is we got a little cherry on top. We got our kingfish dip. And we brought our four-legged baby, Riley. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna meet up with some friends and they're gonna share the experience of trying our fish dip. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that it's okay to eat. We'll let them try it first yeah. and then we'll, we'll try be, it after. Yeah, exactly. We'll make sure that we don't get sick. They get sick first. <laughs> we're to totally, totally kidding. Joking. Yeah, totally kidding. But then again, I'm just kidding. No, anyway, yeah, what's really cool too is your brother's gonna be there, which yeah. is also my brother-in-law, obviously. And he's actually a charter captain, so he'll take you fishing, he'll take you to the sandbar, he customizes trips specifically for whatever it is that you want to do. But long story short, people always ask us for sandbars down here in the Florida Keys. This one's located in Whale Harbor Channel, right outside of Postcard Inn, for those of you that are wondering. Can't miss it. Once you pull up to it, it's typically always lined with boats. And in my honest opinion, it's probably one of the best sandbars in the Florida Keys. Oh yeah, it is. And it's a great place to hang out. So let's get going to go see all of our friends. All right, let's go. Finally made it to the sandbar and it is busy today. But luckily, as you guys were telling us before we started filming, you guys haven't eaten lunch yet. So I figured this is kind of the perfect time to taste test something is when you're hungry. Absolutely. That tastes good. Right? I like it. There's nothing better. Fresh fish on the sandbar. So he said there's nothing better than fresh fish on the sandbar. You can't hear him because he doesn't have a mic on. But no, that's the God honest truth. You know, this is what it's all about. Going out there, catching fish, coming back, cooking it up, catch, clean, and cook. I mean, there's nothing better than that when you're living on the water. It's just perks of living in the Florida Keys. But we're going to let you guys go. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Another video here. But until next week, we'll see you then.